Mm-hmm. He's played home, KIXL News. I've just spent the most unbelievable afternoon of my life. This noontime at about 12.35, I saw President Kennedy, his wife, Governor Connolly, his wife, Lyndon Johnson, his wife, go down to Commerce in downtown Dallas, smiling, waving at thousands and thousands of people who are giving the presidential party a gigantic welcome. I heard this afternoon via a good source, an aide to the governor, as a matter of fact, that Mrs. Connolly turned to the president and his wife and said, now can you say that they don't like you in Texas because his welcome was so overwhelming. Just about exactly 25 minutes later, the time of death was formally pronounced at 1300 hours at one o'clock our time of day. The president was dead. We were told at the hospital briefing that the president was shot once in the neck and it was not known at that time whether he'd been shot in the head or not because the wounds on the president were of such a nature that the path of a bullet or the entry point of a bullet, a second bullet, could not be determined. At the moment, we're at Love Field, Dallas Airport, and President Johnson has just taken off in a gigantic jet plane on the side of it, the United States of America. The new president was sworn in on Love Field just about We'll guess this about 30, about 25 minutes ago. And he took off immediately for the nation's capital. There was not much of a crowd at the airport because this ceremony was kept semi-secret, not really secret. And believe me, it was rough for me to get into the area where the swearing-in took place. Uh, one president, one presidential plane is still on the uh, uh, on the field, but it will. it is mostly a press plane. Also, there's a Pan American jetliner sitting there. That also is a press plane. The U.S. plane will probably take off in a little while. The Pan Am plane, according to what I can get from the head of the White House news, uh, news staff, uh, will not leave until 5 o'clock this afternoon. Naturally, the press corps is in an awful turmoil. They were planning on being here for just so long and following the party and so forth, and it's thrown every plan and every nation's capital, including ours, uh, in an uproar, and so the press corps really doesn't know where they're going. Also, another sidelight, uh, I'd like to save just one moment, was the crowd at the hospital, and there was a crowd at the hospital, Parkland Hospital and Harry Hines this afternoon, the scene of the president's death. Uh, there were many, many hundreds of people all over the lawns and the streets around the hospital, and of course many, many policemen too, keeping them away from the entrances and exits of the hospitals. Uh, that siren I can't identify at the moment. Close behind us seems to be just a siren. The reaction in this crowd at the hospital, we left downtown almost immediately upon hearing the word of the president's death. <laughs> Please check and see that all of your receivers are properly on.